We're talking about used coffee grounds, but instead of tossing them in the trash, they're being used as a key component to remove contaminants from water. The unique thing that we're doing is taking spent coffee grounds that I brewed at home and brought to work, and we're coating them with magnetic nanoparticles. They call them coffee bots. So the coffee bot is, is here. And they're the result of a collaboration between Jeff Moran, an assistant professor of mechanical engineering at George Mason, Amit Kumar Singh, a postdoctoral researcher, and Tarini Basuretti, who was a senior at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Alexandria when they made this discovery. Basuretti is now a freshman at Johns Hopkins University. I feel like I learn at least as much from these two as they do from me. The low-cost and accessible solution can remove methylene blue, oil spills, and microplastics from contaminated water. And they're still discovering other pollutants it might tackle. Then we saw, thought, why not microplastics? It also cleaned. This is how we got into all these pollutants. We're making these, this procedure publicly available because we want anybody around the world, even in resource-poor regions, where the, the need for clean water is often the most urgent, we want them to be able to make use of, the, of our method. It's important that we take materials that are accessible by people and make things that people can use. So how can this be applied outside of a lab? This could be deployed on a boat that has a small magnet at the end of it. And the boat then moves through the water and the magnet kind of tugs the coffee grounds along. You could also dispense the coffee grounds directly into polluted drinking water. So after they've absorbed the oil, we can take a magnet and pluck the coffee bots out of the water. After 40 minutes, the water is, looks pretty clean. You could also pour the solution through a coffee filter, revealing clean water. So we just started testing the limits now. The use of covered coffee grounds to clean water isn't entirely new, but adding movement to the solution is. Moving coffee grounds pick up pollutants faster than stationary ones do. And by using a handheld magnet, they have complete control of the coffee bots. So much control that we could spell out the letters of our university. Like growing up, I always thought science was complicated, right? Like, but here we have coffee grounds with rust on them and we're able to remove like a whole slick of oils. You can do science with very simple starting materials and you can do some amazing things with it. While Tarini is studying biomedical engineering at Johns Hopkins, Jeff and Amit are still working in the lab, hoping to find a way to make coffee bots move when activated by sunlight, eliminating the need for a magnet. WUSA 9 Weather Watch Alert is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Yeah, like Tarini said there, you think of science as this, mm -hmm. it's complicated, but sometimes it's just as simple as that. You know, you just got to think yeah. outside of the box. And amazing that they're willing to share their findings with everyone. They yeah. want to make it publicly known so that those who need clean drinking water the most can do it themselves because it's really just two ingredients. That's Take all changer. my coffee grounds. I guess <laughs> yeah. you just have them. That's very Let's cool. Let's drink more that's coffee. Yeah. Uh, that's an awesome story. Thank you. Jeff, got it.